Hello friends, in this video we will learn how to design a part in ANSYS space claim, and how to mesh a part within ANSYS space claim environment. If you want to improve meshing skills, then this video is for you. Please subscribe this channel, for more video, and, if you enjoy this video, please do not forget to press the like button. Let's start the activity. Start the ANSYS workbench. Select geometry from the component systems. Next right click on cell A2 and click on new space claim geometry. You can see the progress left downside here. Let's prepare design steps. We will make first 2D sketch on the plane normal to this direction. We will consider this axis as X axis. And. This will be Y axis. We will start the sketch from 0, 0 coordinates and we will make a closed loop like this. Next we will extrude this sketch in Z direction. Go to space claim window. Close active sketch. Make new sketch by selecting Z axis. Get first line dimension from the image. Select line tool and make a horizontal line of 20 millimeters. Vertical line of 5 mm from this point. 15 millimeters towards right side. Total is 12 millimeters. We moved 5 millimeters already. Remaining length is 5 millimeters plus 2 millimeters. So total 7 millimeters. We will end there. Next, close the loop by one horizontal line and one vertical line. Close active sketch. Pull command will be activated automatically. Select face and extrude this face 15 millimeters. Next step is for material removal. For the first block, we will split the face and we will extrude this face 10 millimeters. For the second block, we will split the face and we will extrude this face 5 millimeters. For splitting the face, select this tool. Select this face. We will split this face based on dimension, press tab key and enter 5 millimeters. Select this face and enter 2 millimeters. Next select pull tool and remove material. Enter 10 millimeters. Enter 5 millimeters for this side. Please check and verify the dimensions. Next step is to mesh this part. If this tool is not activated, you can turn on by these steps. Please check mesh here. Press this button to activate meshing tools. Select environment. Add this part for meshing.
These are default meshing options. We will change element size to 2.5 mm for the global model. Click on this button. There is one message, no mesh generated in one block. You can see the block by clicking on this message. We can see that block from tree also. Let's check the quality for this meshed part. Skewness range is shown here. The acceptable range of skewness is 0 to 0 0.5. Check for element quality. The ideal element quality is 1. Let's improve mesh quality. Delete mesh by selecting mesh blocks. You can select all blocks by box selection. Turn off meshing tools by clicking this button. We will split more faces to remove free blocks and get more mapped blocks. Please follow the steps. We will split two faces only at this time to check the auto-generate block type. We will repeat this steps for all faces if needed in future. Turn on meshing tools. Select physics. Add part. Change mesh size to 2.5 mm and update. Mesh updated successfully. Let's check the block types. One free block is generated. You can see prism elements. We will divide this block to multiple blocks by slicing operation. Delete mesh and turn off meshing tools. Follow the steps to remove free block. Turn on meshing tools. Select physics, add part. Change mesh size to 2.5 mm and update. Mesh updated successfully. Let's check the block types. All blocks are mapped. There is zero free block and zero sweep block. You can see the mesh statistics here. Let's check the meshing quality parameters. We have achieved zero skewness which is ideal. 
Element quality is also good. Check for warpage. Check for aspect ratio. You can see that the red colored elements are having aspect ratio of 1.25. You can also select particular blocks, and check the quality elements, in those particular selected blocks. Update contour by selecting meshing quality parameters. We will try to get aspect ratio 1 for all blocks. In this exercise, mesh nodes will be increased to achieve best quality mesh. Please note that by increasing node counts increase the overall solution time. We will divide the all edges in such a way that we can get element size of 1 mm. Please follow the steps. We kept mesh update turned on, so that mesh will be auto generated, after changing each mesh control. You can perform this same operation, by changing global mesh size, to 1 mm. This is the process by which you can improve mesh skills. We have achieved best quality mesh elements. You can change mesh display settings here. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe this channel to get more updates.